This guy's pretty big here. Here we go. We've hooked into a big one. Yeah, that's a lot of tension there. And we have caught the Red Breast Kerper Diamond Guys 1.02 pounds bigger than any of my other fish that I've caught. 73.9 degrees, so that takes it a little bit below the temperature that I had. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator, coming at you with the Red Breast Kerper Diamond Guide. This is exactly where I caught mine that you just saw at the beginning of the video. You can see there is the tree. There's the outpost or lookout tower right there off in the distance. This is where I cast it. I uh, don't know that I caught very many after I caught that diamond, so the chances of me catching anything big probably kind of slim right through here, but I'll tell you what I did. I just kind of moved around and fished a lot of these different... Here comes something over here right now. Now, I caught mine on a on an 8, a size 8 bread, but I'm going to show you all the spots that you can catch a red breast Kerper a diamond. But before we do that, guys... Please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell while we're reeling this dude in. Let's see what we've got here. Now, I am not using a small setup. Uh, I want to make sure that whatever I hook into, that's a blue carper right there. I want to make sure that whatever I hook into, uh, I can get it in. But thank you guys so much. We did reach 5,000 subscribers. We are on to, I don't know, 5,000 25 30 somewhere through there now thank you guys so much we're going to be doing a 12 hour celebration on a saturday but my next couple saturdays are booked uh depending on when you're watching this video right now it is april 14th so it's probably going to be like maybe that first weekend in may somewhere through there uh is what i'm thinking we're going to do a 12 hour celebration stream but thank you guys so much for sticking with me and telling your friends to drop that free sub three dollars and free cents thank you so much let's hop into it we got us a silver blue carper right here get us a little double xp while the i think this is the last day of that event going on right now but you can see where we're at here on the map I'll show you here this is the trailhead uh fin factory and so i don't know it might be possible you guys let me know in the comments if it's possible to catch a red breast kerper diamond i know it is golds and stuff like that but can you catch a diamond red breast kerper on this side has anybody done that everybody's told me over on this side and i caught mine there but now if you look at the official angler discord it's pointing more toward these down here but i think it's just in general any of these five I, someone told me they caught one in the first one right there and i caught mine here in the second one so it all depends i think and uh, to get the the temperature that you want you know some of these have a little bit deeper so it's, i think it's a time of day thing you know if it's a hot time of the day then you want to go fish these deeper spots to get those cooler temperatures uh if it's a warmer part of the day or if it's a cooler part of the day then you want to fish probably where i'm at right now it just all depends but this is where I was standing and I would catch a few there. I'd cast over here. That's what you're going to have to do with these walkways. Or you can stand over on the bank and fish. You can reach pretty much anywhere in here. Catch a few fish. When they stop biting, uh, move over. Cast in one of the other areas behind you or in front of you or whatever. Now the number eight. Go ahead and tell you that is a bronze size. Um but you can't put bread on a number seven. So it's really up to you what you want to fish with. I kind of felt like I got more red breast kerper when I used bread. Now, when I switched over to like blood worm, hot dog, stuff like that, I felt like I caught more blue kerpers. So, I mean, and if you don't care, you know, I just keep using the number seven blood wearing it if you want to. But uh, I also like to hop up where I can see real good over there on those bridges and stuff. But we'll just cast around. 
And that's just what I'd do. I'd catch a few at each little spot and I'd just move around. Here comes one right now. Whenever it slowed down, I'd just move around to a new a new location and cast there. But in order, you know, the canary curper is the smallest. The red breast is a little bigger and the blue curper is the biggest of the curpers. So there is a blue curper there. So if you want to start eliminating some of those, you could put like a, a seven hot dog on or something like that. All right, let's look at some other places that we can catch these red breast curper. As you can see here on the screen, guys, over on spot number three, that's the starter lake. So they pretty much got that whole area just kind of boxed in right there for the red breast curper. And you can see number one is right there at the starting dock. Number two is actually right there at the dinosaur south of Dino Park, right there. Number four is where we are right now, but we're in more of the northern ponds. But uh, that's why I was saying it's kind of pointing toward the bottom pond, but I caught mine in the second from the top there. So it just depends uh, on the time of day, I think, really, if you're needing cooler temperatures, warmer temperatures. You can kind of jump around any of those five. I think you can catch a diamond depending on what time of day it is, water temperatures and things like that. So that is the four known reported diamond locations so far. Speaking of the hook chart, let's look here. We have, we don't know the legendaries yet, so we don't see any names there, but here you see from Canary Curper all the way down to the African sharp tooth catfish. So we see here, Canary Curper, Red Breast Curper, exact same hook sizes for both of those, even though the Red Breast gets a little bit bigger than the Canary. The Mogul hops up a little bit, and then we've got the Smallmouth Bass. And you see on just the order of small, it's usually smallest to biggest fish there on the hook sizes. But we do see the Red Breast Curper. Number seven is Silver. Now, Silver is traditionally my go-to hook no matter what species we're talking about. Occasionally, I will drop to the bronze. If I'm not getting a lot of bites on the silver, I'll drop to the bronze and I'll start catching a bunch of those to get them to spawn in. I had to do that with the eel. The eel in the cave, I didn't have a silver to bite until I started catching some of the bronzes. Then the silver started spawning in. Then you, before you knew it, I spawned a, a gold in. But that's just the way I typically do things, no matter what fish we're talking about, find that silver hook and go with it. Now in this case, I started catching more red breast curper on the bread. So I dropped to an eight hook so I could equip the bread. Uh, that's just the way it was. It didn't completely eliminate the blue curpers, but I felt that I caught more red breast on the bread than I did blue. So I kind of went with the bread and the eight hook there. Most of the time I'm going with the seven. So I just figured I'd show you that. All right, guys, now we are going to look at the temperatures and temperatures. Yes, they do matter. They do matter. Don't care who tells you that. They do matter. At first we thought they didn't, or some people thought they didn't. I've known all along that they do matter. It actually helps. Because you know temps will get a little colder, right? So you'll know like some areas if it's a low temp fish where you should be looking. You'll notice where we are here, the way the splits are if you work out your temps. So it kind of, you know, that's the temps are really just gonna show you where you can possibly catch a diamond. Uh listen, it's it is what it is. People can, you know, that's Jaxie himself confirming right there that temps do matter. And I've said this from the beginning. What happened was in the beginning, we didn't have the different colorations of depths on the map. So when people uh, a year ago were trying to put this temperature thing together, they couldn't because they were casting in the same spot, getting different temperatures, but that's why. They were parked in places where there were a lot of depth changes and they didn't know it because the map didn't reflect the depth changes. They didn't realize that they were casting in a spot to where, of course, there, there was going to be five, six degree temperature differences because if this one come from the left out of shallow water or this one come from the right out of deep water, 
it was going to be hot and cold and and people couldn't make any sense of it back then but we can now so there's confirmation for all the naysayers and everybody that made fun of me and tried to start arguments with me over the temperatures i'm still waiting on that apology the temps for the red breast curper guys right here 73.1 to 75.4 i caught mine at 73.9 now are some of these going to change yes we are early we are super early the map's been out for two weeks guys so i mean you're this is all based on a handful of fish you know so that that's another thing that people talk about is like well y'all just expand the temperature range of course we do that's what you do with data you expand it you, you know eventually we'll get to where we've had a hundred fish reported and, and then you've got a good solid, you know, time there. You know, there for a while we thought the red breast curper was just gonna spawn in a half degree increment there window, and then we caught a few more and now look and it's almost two and a half degrees. So and some fish, you look at some fish like the um here's the spotted bass, it has like a eight degree difference, you know, but that's that's fish. That's fish for you. Um, some of them have huge, huge differences, you know, eight degrees, more than that, nine degrees. It all depends on the species, you know, they're going to hang out, uh, there. And I'm not, I'm not concerned about spawns, not concerned about spawns at all. I'm talking about the fish is going to swim over to deep water or it's going to swim over to shallow water to get in its desired range, just like it would in real life. So that diamond might be swimming around in that lake somewhere. You just have to go find it. And that's it. It's really kind of simple. Um, anyway, let's hop on in and look at some of the other places. Look at this one here. What is this dude? Might be a blue. That's big. I hope it's a red breast. All right, here we go. I can't tell. I think it's a red breast curper, but I can't tell 100%. Canary curpers will not nibble. I do know that. Let's see what we've got here. It is a red breast curve. It is a silver 1.74. Not as big as I thought it was, but Mike would be laughing at me right now. All right, here we go. We are off the starter dock here. This is another red breast canary and blue curper spot, according to some people I've talked to. And I bet you that's a canary. Yeah, it is. Watch, it's not gonna nibble. I'm just gonna let it go. There we go. There we go. There's some tides, a blue or a red. It's hard to tell them apart in the water. If I can see its belly. I don't know. I think it's a red. Yeah, that's a red silver. So just any type of gear, guys, that's gonna let you catch like a four or five pound fish, you know, just to make sure that if you hook a good blue carper, you can get it in. Uh, you don't have to use major. I just didn't feel like switching my gear. I, I'm way over geared for this. I'm sitting here fishing with the, the African rod and reel. Uh, and 22 pound line, which is way, way more than what I need. But you know, it's one of those deals. I'll probably regret that though. If I catch a diamond, like a record or something, I'll end up not having as big a score and I'll lose the tiebreaker. <laughs> so, but that's one of those deals where, you know, sometimes you just catch a bigger fish that you're not targeting and it snaps the line on you or whatever. And I'm just not concerned. I'm just gonna throw it out there and see what happens. But of my favorite spots, I really do. I like, and thanks to Dad's a psycho for telling me about this spot. I like these five little ponds over here. It's fast traveling in right there. And this spot over here too, you can catch some uh, blue curper diamonds in those spots as well. What do we got biting on us now? All right, our last fish of the video. I think, pretty sure this is a red breast as well. And it's a 1.85. That's our biggest one of the video. We're, we're getting up there, getting close to gold. So there you go, guys. If we want to look a little bit closer at the red breast curper, you can see here, bread, blood, worm, hot dog. If you hit the tab button, it takes you beyond those three. We start getting 
marshmallow, minnow, frog, grub, spinner, tube, pearl barley, dough, popper, corn, crankbait, spinnerbait, shad, red worm. So you can jig, you can uh, spinner, you know, use a spinner rig. Uh, float rig, whatever you want to do there. Uh, bottom, can we use bottom? Yeah, corn, right there's corn. You can So any type of fishing that you want to do, you can do on these guys. Anyway, that is going to do it for me. You can see my diamond was 3.23 pounds. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please do me a favor in the comments. Let me know, especially on the red breast curper up there at the fin factory. Where all have you caught diamonds at? Has it been the five on the left or did you catch any on the nine over on the right, on the, on the right side? Let me know. My name is Darth Sloan. Thank you guys so much. And we'll catch you in the next video.